SpaceX's Falcon Heavy is just about to launch its last and perhaps most exciting mission of the year. Scheduled to launch today, the Falcon Heavy will be taking the USAF's mysterious X-37B space plane to orbit. Designed to stay in space for several years at a time, this is the first time the Falcon Heavy has been entrusted with launching this precious craft into orbit. Let's take a closer look at this imminent launch and what's to follow for Falcon Heavy. In 2023, Falcon Heavy has already conducted four launches, making it the busiest year for the company. Despite this, there is one more launch scheduled in a few days, bringing the total to five launches. Interestingly, this upcoming mission diverges from the usual payload, as it will carry the US Air Force's X-37B space plane. Scheduled for today, this mission holds significant importance due to the nature of both the payload and the launch vehicle. The X-37B is a military space plane with the capability to perform various tasks in orbit. Remarkably, it can remain in space for multiple years before returning for a runway landing. For some time, there had been knowledge of Falcon Heavy's scheduled mission with the U.S. Air Force named USSF-52 later this year. Typically, with military contracts, details were limited, and information about the payload, orbit, and other specifics remained unknown. However, a few months ago, they unveiled a significant revelation the payload for this mission would be the X-37B. This announcement was noteworthy because, although the X-37B had been launched several times before, it had never been paired with a launch vehicle as robust as the Falcon Heavy. Previous launches involved the Falcon 9 or an Atlas V. While the exact details were not provided, this choice suggests that the X-37B is destined for a more distant orbit and requires the substantial power offered by the Falcon Heavy. Despite the secrecy surrounding most aspects of this particular mission, there have been a few statements that offer some insight into what can be expected. In a statement released early last month, the Space Force disclosed details about the mission designated USSF-52. This mission is set to conduct a diverse range of tests, including the operation of the reusable space plane in new orbital regimes, experimentation with space domain awareness technologies, and an investigation into the radiation effects on materials provided by NASA. In addition to the space plane's activities, the mission will feature the NASA SEEDS-2 experiment, which aims to study the effects of space-based radiation on plant seeds during a long-duration spaceflight. Turning the focus back to the space plane itself, it boasts impressive capabilities such as deploying satellites, hosting experiments, and a range of other features, although specific details remain undisclosed. Regarding its duration in space, the space plane's longest mission lasted approximately 908 days, equivalent to around two and a half years. As of now, the mission is still scheduled to take place on the 11th, although it was initially set to occur earlier, but faced a delay. The designated launch site for this mission is LC-39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Notably, it appears that the center booster will be expended to provide additional power during the launch. In contrast, the two side boosters are set to separate and land back near the launch site on the ground. The X-37B, weighing approximately 11,000 pounds or nearly 5,000 kilograms, falls well within the Falcon Heavy's capacity, regardless of the orbit requirements. Going back to the origin of this mission, it dates back to 2018 when SpaceX was awarded the contract. In June of that year, the Air Force announced the award of an evolved expendable launch vehicle, ELV launch service contract to SpaceX. The contract, valued at $130 million, is a firm fixed price agreement covering launch services for delivering the Air Force Space Command, AFSPC, 52 satellite to its intended orbit. This contract encompasses a comprehensive launch solution for the mission, including launch vehicle production, mission integration, and launch operations, providing the government with a complete package for the successful execution of the USSF-52 mission. During the same period, officials provided additional information stating that AFSPC-52 is a classified mission scheduled for a projected launch in late fiscal year 2020. Falcon Heavy has gained considerable popularity within the military, notably for its frequent deployment of government payloads. Earlier this year, for instance, Falcon Heavy successfully launched USSF-67 at a cost of approximately $317 million. Additionally, it handled the launches of USAF-STP-2 and USSF-44. The Falcon Heavy's appeal lies in its substantial payload capacity and availability, making it a preferred choice for military missions. This trend is expected to continue, with Falcon Heavy likely being a prominent player in future military launches. Reviewing the schedule for heavy lift launch vehicles, it is anticipated that Falcon Heavy will maintain a busy agenda 
with consistent launches extending into 2024 and beyond. This marks a significant improvement from its somewhat sluggish initial phase. SpaceX has been actively working towards enhancing the launch cadence across all its vehicles. This effort is particularly evident with the Falcon 9, where there is an ambitious goal to launch approximately one mission every couple of days. Although Falcon Heavy's launch frequency is not as frequent, it is still making a substantial contribution. In comparison, between its inaugural mission in 2018 and the conclusion of 2022, Falcon Heavy conducted only four launches in total. This translates to an average rate of less than one launch per year. However, the landscape changed in 2023, as the Falcon Heavy has already completed four launches this year alone, with a fifth mission poised for launch imminently. The delayed frequency of Falcon Heavy launches can be attributed to several factors, with one of the primary reasons being the remarkable success of the Falcon 9. Following the development of the Falcon 9, SpaceX focused on enhancing its performance. Unexpectedly, the Falcon 9 exceeded initial expectations, becoming significantly more powerful than anticipated. During the development of Falcon Heavy, SpaceX faced uncertainties regarding the capabilities of the Falcon 9. The unforeseen potency of the Falcon 9 led to a shift in plans, with many missions initially designated for Falcon Heavy being redirected to the Falcon 9. Commercial companies seeking transport to lower orbits, for instance, often found that the immense payload capacity of the Falcon Heavy exceeded their requirements. Consequently, they opted for a more cost-effective option by choosing the Falcon 9. This cost difference is noteworthy. SpaceX offers Falcon 9 missions at approximately $67 million, whereas a standard Falcon Heavy flight is priced around $97 million. Another contributing factor to the infrequent launches of Falcon Heavy was the limited demand for its unique capabilities. Falcon Heavy excels in handling heavy payloads destined for distant orbits, particularly in military applications. However, between 2019 and 2022, the demand for such a powerful rocket was relatively low. The specific mission profile, which often involves military launches, significantly narrowed the available options. Several planned Falcon Heavy launches were delayed due to issues with satellites. For instance, USSF-44, initially scheduled for a late 2020 liftoff, encountered complications related to its payload, leading to the postponement of the launch. Moreover, during this period, there were alternative launch providers offering comparable capabilities. Both Ariane Space's Ariane 5 and United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy conducted launches within the same time frame, presenting competitive options for potential customers. Simultaneously, SpaceX was intensifying efforts on the development of Starship, adding to the complexity of its schedule. The company had ambitious plans, yet uncertainties about each project's capabilities and timelines existed. However, these dynamics changed significantly in the last year alone. Starting early next year, the trend of frequent Falcon Heavy launches is expected to persist with several notable missions on the horizon. In September 2021, NASA awarded SpaceX a launch services contract for the geostationary GOES-U weather satellite. Following this, the Europa Clipper mission is set to take place in the third quarter. The Europa Clipper will conduct an extensive survey of Jupiter's moon Europa, utilizing a sophisticated suite of science instruments to investigate whether the icy moon has conditions suitable for life. Key mission objectives include producing high-resolution images of Europa's surface, determining its composition, searching for signs of recent or ongoing geological activity, measuring the thickness of the moon's icy shell, and exploring for subsurface lakes while determining the depth and salinity of Europa's ocean. The mission will involve flying past Mars and Earth before reaching Jupiter in April 2030. Subsequently, in November, the Viper mission is scheduled, followed by the NASA Artemis Gateway launch in December. While potential delays may occur due to module progress, the Artemis Gateway launch is not far on the horizon. This launch will include the first elements for the Gateway Station as part of the Artemis program, a significant achievement awarded in February 2021. With such a busy launch schedule ahead, it will be interesting to see if SpaceX can keep up the pace and continue to improve upon its launch cadence in the coming year. What do you think? Can SpaceX continue to launch more rockets while focusing on developing new ones at the same time? Please let us know in the comments below.